All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Christmas tree is going out. We're sitting down and we're diving back in to a Minecraft project. My brand new Minecraft Let's Play. I don't know whether I can call it brand new, as though it's a month old, but we're only on episode seven. And I'm pretty damn addicted into it. So if you guys are new around here and haven't tuned in, catch up, subscribe, and let's dive straight into it where we're in my beautiful world that I am just absolutely in love with. Now, in the last episode, we've managed to get actually a lot of stuff done, which I'm very impressed with. <gasps> You son of a git! There's an Enderman back in my house, like, wreaking redemption for the murder of his family, which I'm not having any of this! Oh god! Oh god! Wait, no, wait! No, wait, I'm fine. I'll be fine here, right? Oh my god, why do I always start these episodes with that? Wait, can you not get down here? <laughs> you idiot! Oh, sh shiver my timbers, Batman! Um, so yeah, this is basically how the series goes. Um, everything seems like it's going well and fine, and we're rocking and rolling, making progress. My house is looking beautiful. Um, how, oh wait, how, how are the cows looking? You better be growing over there. I can't even see! You better be growing over there, right? Because I'm going to kill you all. But we made a mass discovery. In the previous episode, we made this uh, uh, absolute drop fall in to the abyss below. And we walked around it and we thought this is all well, cool, awesome, all that sort of stuff. I should probably bring some more torches down with me, to be fair. And uh, I'm in a minute going to run around and like, mine all the iron and everything with my whopping Fortune 2 pickaxe. We didn't get lucky enough to get a Fortune 3. It is what it is. But as we were exploring, we went to the top right-hand corner of this cave and we made an absolutely insane discovery. Now, I did want to explore it in the previous episode, but... um. Uh, yeah, things just went chaotic, and I wanted to get enchantments under my belt, and we did it, and it all was good. But we went up to here, and we looked down, and honestly, between, like, yesterday recording the last episode and now, all I've wanted to do is return to here and check this out. Now, ignore ignore the zombies. It's okay. Nope. It's fine. It's fine. Just just, just die. Just just deal with it, all right? Where, where have you gone? Wait, what? He, he randomly vanished. Are you ready? You ready? Three, two, one. Wow. Look at this. I, I, I didn't even give it the full time and appreciation when I was like, oh, there's diamonds. I can literally see, I can see diamonds on the edge there. No way. So this, oh my God, can I, can I get up here easily? Is this just a waterfall I can climb? So this is underneath my house. My house is literally there. We've got this huge like mine system to be able to go and explore and see what's in there. There could be so many more diamonds in here that we're not even seeing, but we have just indeed spotted ourselves a diamond. So, um, without further ado, we're going to jump down there and go and collect that. I should be able to just splunk on 20 of this, right? Yeah, this seems, this, this seems safe enough, right? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Okay. No, 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 no. Listen. Listen, 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 listen. I, I don't want, I, I'm not here for uh, scraps, all right? I'm not here for fights. I'm here for that, that diamond. Well, it looks like it's only one, <laughs> it's like one diamond all by itself. Oh, my gosh. It keeps on going and we have lava there. Thank gosh, I brought a water bucket with me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just remove you. And I got one whole diamond. Oh, that is why you always check around you before you mine the diamonds. Look at this. This is the quickest into an episode of mine that I've ever got. Diamonds. Now, right, throw that away. All right. Throw that. Oh, wait, the enemy gave us a grass block. I didn't even notice. All right. With my Fortune 2, by the way, I'm not happy about it. I, I really wanted Fortune 3, and then I was just going to go like on an epic mining uh, exploration around here. Ooh. Um, uh, but basically, yeah, we only got Fortune 2 on the level 30 enchantment. So, without further ado, how many diamonds? Boom! I'll take that. You know what? Yeah, I'll take that. It, it's it's as good as the trade's going to get. Um, well, it could have it could have been better, but look at this place. I know it might be very dark for you guys, as it is very dark for me. But just look at this. It is absolutely insane. Oh, the glow squid looks epic. That actually looks so damn cool. Now, I'm probably going to get my ass kicked by all these more. Oh, my, I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. Nope. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I don't want this smoke. More diamonds! How many did I get? I got two more diamonds. Let's go. Big W's in the chat. Oh my gosh, let's go. All right, this seems like a bit of a safer area because there's natural light around here. <sighs> just got diamonds and everything. Uh, not diamonds. I just got arrows and everything just hanging out of my body. Everything's fine. This is fine. Now, I kind of want to... I'm going to collect all, all like the, the, the loose ores I can see around here. But I think what we should do is, seeing as I do actually for once have some coal on me, I think we should take the water source up to the top where we saw that wooden platform. Grab some wood and come back down because as far as I can tell, I haven't got any sticks on me. Let me hit this for a bit of light. I tell you what, I'll actually take this because if I'm nearly close to level 30 again for uh, some X. Oh, okay, this is just great. This is great. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Wait, why am I doing this? Using pickaxe or something. Any sort of weapon other than my fist. Oh, it just keeps going. It just keeps... 
This new update for Minecraft is probably one of the coolest updates in a video game I've ever experienced. It just completely changes the way you play the game, you explore, like the, the everything you can do in this game has just completely changed. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I've come back with a, a Let's Play. And I, you know, I say this nearly every episode, but honestly, thank you so much to all the viewers for tuning in, who like leave a like rating on the videos, who subscribe. You're absolutely amazing. And I appreciate the support like so, 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 so much. And uh, you know what? Look, talk about a win. Like, we are, what is it, a whopping five minutes into this video, and, um, we- Oh! Where on earth did he come from? Oh my god, this- This- This Minecraft world is just hellish. You know what, this is the worst update- I'm joking. It's the worst update they've ever done. It's crazy, though. Like, you never know what's going to happen. There's like a million different layers where... Oh, oh, oh. Just give me the redstone. Why am I doing this? This is a bad idea. Ah! No! I don't want that smoke! I don't want that smoke! Get me out of it. 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 No, 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 no. no. Get me out of it. Get me out of it. Oh, my God. I'm getting tag teamed. I'm out. See in a bit. Suck your dad's tits. I'm out. Oh, this is just bad. Go, 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 go. I'm not... I don't want to die. I'm not going to die. I'm not dying. Not today, not tomorrow, not later. I only needed a little bit more redstone for level 30. Because we could take... Wait. Why does that look like it leads... Wait. Is that, just, is that just me or does that look like it leads to, like, natural light? Oh, nice. We'll take some coal. You might be wondering, like, why I get so excited over, like, the sight of coal. Um, and it's just pure and simple with the fact I've got, like, next to none uh, in my house or in my... In my... In my what, you're not... Are you going to... Yeah, you're going to be mad at me. I mean, no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I don't want to waste my pickaxe on you. Stop! Right, fine. Uh, I'd rather use this than anything. Thank you. Blow me in heck. Right. Okay, if we take everything we see, right? It's a, it's an extra resource. Oh, also, I want to test this. We fortune two. Wait, oh, yeah, you do. Wait, let me, let, me, let me go ahead and put this all there. So, ten iron. Right? Ten iron. Eleven iron. Okay, that, really, that, 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 that didn't work. All right. Five, five gold. Seven gold. Eight gold. Ten gold. Thirteen gold. 14 gold. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, fortune on your pickaxe is absolute pog. Wow. So, uh, running out of iron and stuff like that, uh, seems like it's never going to be an issue ever again, which is great. He says that, and, uh, just, re just remember me saying this when the episode rolls around when I'm like, damn, we need to go get some iron. But yeah, we'll take all this. Like, every, every ore I see, I want to mine and I want to take it, because just, like, the riches inside here are going to be amazing. Why is there just one piece of grass? Oh, it does lead outside. But wait, so if this is... But this is almost, like, exactly under my house. So if I take this up, where's this going to bring me out? Oh, look at it. Oh, this is going to be so sick to explore. There's loads of coal as well, which is really good. Whoa, whoa, whoa! How did I, how did I mess that one up? Was it like a waterfall? Okay. Wait, wait, so where... I, I, I think I am, like, technically, like, underneath my house. So if I'm technically under, like, underneath or to the side of my house, where am I? What? I can see, I can see a, to wait, I can see a torch and an egg and a chicken. Wait, where are my bearings here? Wait a minute. Wait, if my bearings are, is that a dog? What the hell is that? <laughs> I thought you were a dog. <laughs> oh, my man, sorry about that. Oh, wow. So where's the ocean? Wait, I know where my house is. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's loads of llamas. What the hell? Llama C. Whoa, I didn't know they just randomly, like, naturally spawned in the aisle. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so my house is over here. Oh, I can hear any bit. Right, let, let's just go and have a good night's sleep. But yeah, look at this. So here's my house. Oh, well, let's go. I've got the most amazing mind si uh, like, well, si like system below my house right here. And the exit is over there. No freaking way. A few episodes ago, we went exploring like 10,000 blocks over there, which is a lot. It's like more like a thousand to try and find like an awesome place to explore. And little did we know it, it was underneath our house the entire time. Wait, how's Bruno? Hey, Bruno! Hey, I'm walking here. He's, he's okay. All right, so great success. I've managed to come back with more diamonds, more loot, and more XP. So um, I'm not even messing around, you know. I'm, I think I'm going to go... Uh, I think... I think... I'm thinking, right? And I know people are going to hate me for this, but I like and prefer um, having a diamond axe. I'm tempted to do a di another diamond pickaxe, though. That's the one thing I will say. I'm tempted to do another diamond pickaxe. You might say, no, don't do it. It's a waste. But if we do get another good one, you know, we'll be rocking. So, so let's, let's, let's do this. All right. Let's go ahead and make 
another diamond pickaxe, just because we can. I'm going to make an iron axe, just because I can. All right. And we're going to see what we can get. Uh, where's my, where's my, oh, I got lapis with me. This is good. Give me that. All right. If I throw this in, efficiency four. Boom. Uh, oh, I tell you what. I, t I, t I tell you what. That ain't bad. Because we can combine that. That's a win. So I think what we need to get crackalacking with is this. I know I've got this set up as like an auto smelter, but I do luckily have just like blast furnace here. So let's throw this into the blast furnace. Let's get smelting all the raw iron because we're going to need... I was going to make an anvil. <laughs> well, look at that then. Looky here, looky here. All right, so how much does it cost me? 13 that way or 13... Wait, is that the same way? Wait, 13 that way or 13 that way? All right, fine. The, 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 the first... The, the, the fist... Of fist of Desmond, yeah, there the fi the fist of Desmond, fist fist of Desmond. I, it sounds quite weird, but I'm gonna go for it. In honor of Desmond Tutu, the fist of Desmond. Now I know this isn't Fortune Three. Don't worry about it. We'll work it out in the future. It's fine. I'm taking it. All right, I love it. Cool. Um, I'm also tempted to go and put um, a random enchantment on my axe whilst all that smell it. You might be like, why? I don't know. I just like having this. Oh, silk touch. Fortune and unbreaking. Uh, for the sake of this, this will just cost me one level. Uh, wait, what? I got okay. That's just weird. I got silk touch and unbreaking. Okay, I get. I guess this could come in handy, handy slightly. But uh, yeah, right. What I need you to do is to keep smelting everything I have found, which is good. Uh, you can do the gold as well. So I'm gonna put you in there. Um, I'm gonna empty my inventory and I'm gonna go back down into that cave and explore and see. How many riches I can come back with? Because I feel like I'm going to come back swagged out. So now that we've got food, we'll take some wood with us just in case if you know, like, you know, stuff going sideways. Uh, we'll go explore and we'll see how much iron, even with only fortune two, how much iron and gold and diamonds and lapis and redstone we can come back with. And actually, before before we actually go anywhere, right? This is this is one thing we need to make sure we keep doing. All right. In the previous uh, episode, we decimated. Um, the existence of Calcane Island. So I'm going to keep keep you regrowing, all right? You were the the, the final... Oh, I was going to say there's only five of you, but there's... That... Bloody hell! A lot of you actually seem to survive the massacre, so congrats. Uh, I'll tell you what, all the kids, they can survive. Listen, I don't need really to kill as many as you as I can anymore, just simply because I've, I've got the bookshelves and all's good in the hood. So congratulations, you can survive another day. But I've been told in the comments that our trading villager that we've got in a boat is going to despawn. And I was told, right, the, the trading villager, um, people were saying to me, Tom, it's all well and good you being like, oh, we've got the trading villager. But the thing is, they're time-based, not like entity-based of like, you give them something to hold or something. They are time-based. But I want to just publicly say, I was going to, from the comments that I read, someone said you should call him Guy Fox. because he sold gunpowder for one emerald, and that's what I was going to do. Now, as for you, uh, I think your name is Garfield or Gar, Ga Gary, Gary, Garfield. I don't know. Uh, you're staying there. And when I eventually get around to setting this up as like a cute little like villager area, uh, you're going to be the first of the kind and you're going to be known as like the mayor. Okay. So yeah, go, go. good luck, Gary. Now, we could actually run back over there in that direction to, you know, dive back down the hole. What I'm thinking is because I do want to like take over the ground and the land below us. Say we drop down. And now that I've got like 32 torches, I think we should uh, pick up all the ores in the area we've got around here and just light everything up. Obviously, we've also got that to explore down there, which I don't know where that's going to lead off to. As well as, if I just think about it real quick, we've also got this section to explore. Look at look at how many um, iron ores are in the ground over here that we didn't even manage to pick up just due to the fact that, well, you know, we were getting absolutely battered by every single mob in the existence of Minecraft all at once. And it wasn't exactly the nicest thing to happen to us, but you know, it is what it is. But look, there's ores everywhere. I mean, this is so good. Like, I, I, this makes me want to make one... Oh, did you miss that? This makes me want to make one of every single beacon in Minecraft. Like, that'd be a pretty good challenge. You know, like, one all out of gold. See, though, like, it's so much easier to collect now. What? Oh. One all out of iron. Oh. And then one out of um, diamonds and emeralds. Do you know what I mean? I think that would be pretty cool. It would probably take me an absolute lifetime and I'd never get it done. But wait, why have I not eaten? <laughs> What's going on? Wait, a minecart. Sorry, I, I, sorry, sorry. Yes. Okay, this is good signs. Are we going to find diamonds in our first? Is this our first? I think this is our first. 
our first underground minecart. What are we going to get from it? Well, right, leave a comment right now what you think I'm going to get from it. And let's see if you're correct. There's two as well. Oh, hell yeah. All right, I'm thinking melon seeds and iron. Boom. Whoa, okay. I got, all right, so we got iron. I got coal. I got rails, torches. Are they glowberries? Glowberries. That. A name tag. We can name Bruno the dog. Let's go. Oh, that, that, you know what? I don't even care what anyone says. That's a natural win. I'm going to take this with me as well. I'm taking everything I can get. I really shouldn't waste my diamond pickaxe. I, I, I need to use the diamond pickaxe because it's got the fortune on this. <gasps> All right. Um, I, I, listen, I still did the <gasps> thing because I, I, I thought I was gone then. I thought I was going, I thought I was going into a different dimension. Where have I, I've led myself into a pocket of water. Will we, find, will we find any sort of loot down here? Let's get as much of this gold as we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going into the air pocket. <gasps> oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, this will do. This was a... Uh... You could say this was a happy accident, right? Yeah this, was, yeah, this was a great happy accident. It'd be even happier if there was just a diamond. <gasps> no shot! There's no fucking way! I can't believe it! That can't... What, what are the chances? I'm the best at finding diamonds in Minecraft. I don't care what it says. Wow! No way! How many did we get? We had one in our inventory already. Where's it gone? Wait, where's it gone? I get it? I have six diamonds?! What the fuck have I just done?! Ah! I have no idea what I've done. You set your own game to spectator mode? I swear on my mum's life. I have never done this before and I don't know how I'm doing it. What have I done? I literally have no idea what I've done right now. What's that? I'm going to have to FaceTime my ed editor. All right, I've, I've somehow messed up. I've somehow pressed a keybind that's put me into spectator mode whilst in the Minecraft project. Like, look. You press F3 and hold F4. I press F what? Hold F3 down and then press F4. Uh, thank you. No Mate, I had no idea. I just started going through the sky. I was like, what the fuck's going on? Oh. All right, I appreciate it. I'm going to go now before everyone accuses me of being a hacker looking for diamonds. All right, I love you. Yeah, nice. Bye. Mate. <laughs> what on earth? You press F3 and F4 and you switch. I've... I, Never in all my years of playing Minecraft knew that was a thing. Right, we need to go and explore what's gonna be. Oh wait, we got we got some enemies. We got some enemies. Anything down there? Nope. And hey, we got some enemies ahead, but we need to see what is in that next minecart. Now, obviously, again, I want to keep this place lit up to a T, and um, so we're nice and safe and sound. Thank you. Right, I've got my axe. People, again, people always wonder why I only use an axe rather than a sword, and it's because an axe actually does way more damage per hit. Oh, I thought that was a cobblestone wall then. I thought we'd found a mob spawner. Imagine if we... Oh, we don't want to go near that. Right, hang on. I always try and remove at these intersections, the blocks. So, you know, like when you walk through it, you're not like walking in blind. And then a mob's just going to light a... <gasps> yes! Eight diamonds! Okay, that was only... We only actually got two out of that. Good. Could have been way more. But that, that's a win. This has been... This has been the spelunking episode I... Wanted it to be the other day, but it wasn't. Oh, man. This is huge. Okay. So, for our next chest, what are we going to get out of it? I reckon this time, we're actually going to get diamonds. I'm calling it right now. I reckon one diamond and a name tag. Are you ready? Leave a comment right now saying chest two and take a guess. I want to see. Like, listen, there's not many things you have to take part in in life. But this YouTube channel and the commitment to this viewership is that one thing. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Diamonds. Ah! Ah! Well, that's, well, that's, that's disappointing to say the least. Oh, hey, up. Take it back. Melon seeds. Beetroot seeds. Um, the, I think that's that's a great success. I'm just going to leave the, the iron picket, pickaxe here. And we'll take these. Leave them there. Put them on there. Get rid of this. Mel so melons. Melon seeds. Big W. That's a big W. Uh, I will take the rest of the glowberries. All right, okay. No, they're, you know, they're great. They're the most um, amazing loot in the world. But it's, hey, I tell you what, it's better than nothing. I can't believe we're still, we're still exploring this place. Like, it's gigantic. I feel like we've not even scratched the surface of what else could be in here. By the way, can I can can you leave a comment right now? If you, if you are genuinely like one of these people who, you know, tune in and watch these videos. Do you call it XP? <gasps> no fucking way! No way! Get out of here! Get out of here! There's no way we found this! Oh! There's no way! Give me the coal. I need torches ASAP. 
Oh my god. This has got to be like the greatest Minecraft episode I've ever made. This has got to be the like the greatest Minecraft episode I've ever made. This is like directly under my house. Hell yes. Right, let me just light this area up real quick. I don't care about finding diamonds. <gasps> But I think it's more like the luckiest. There's no way. We've just, I even said like, I, I don't even, I don't even care if I find diamonds down there. Then I find diamonds down there. Oh my Lord. Let's go a million times over. Okay, give me the, give me the music disc. This is lit up. Take a screenshot of the coordinates. We've got another name tag. We've got loads of gunpowder, which I don't need. Uh, the coal. I'm going to make some more uh, torches with real quick. Oh my gosh. The fluke, like, think about it. Think about the falling through the floor situation that we had and we found the extra diamond. That was crazy. Everything about this has been insane. I don't know what to leave behind um, and, and, like, what not, uh, and what to take and stuff. I just want to take the rare stuff. I'll take the two, two matching CDs. Okay, let's go. I, I, like, should we? Should we perhaps, like, mine straight up now, like a staircase out? Like, where we are? 44. Right, now, if I'm right in saying... I think the direction of, like, my house is this way. So I think we should, like, like, stair mine out, right? I know it's, like, ugh, stair mine out, whatever. But I think we should stair mine out so we can get to it. And then we can go from here. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, oh. Oh, hello. Hello. This is a different one as well, isn't it? This is not even the one I've been in. This is not even the one we've been in. Oh, Lord. Imagine if this is where I blew up now. Imagine if you like me kept saying like, oh, I always mine away at them so I can see what's behind them. And then a creeper's just like, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing there? Nice, nice to meet you. Oh, my gosh. I am, I'm buzzing. I was, I, I, after, after I filmed the last episode, I was like feeling really confident like where, the, where this series was at and stuff like that. I'm just like so excited to like develop the world and the area and everything. And like, and like what we can build, and then look at where we are now. Oh wait, torch? Is that me placed that or not? I can't tell. Can't, 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 can't quite tell. Oh, more, more loot. I don't need to be doing this, I just need to be mining straight. Come on now! Come on now! What is this? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say! Oh my god, leet hacksaws, brah! Oh my god, as long as the creeper doesn't drop on us. Everything that we've said has kind of come true, so I really need to stop talking about creepers. Wow! Alright, there's no way I'm going to be able to find out where, where I'm just minding from, is there? Oh, oh okay. Where's this? Oh! Oh, that almost would have... Ah! Oh! I know where we are! So... That's our... Not that one. But that's where our water teleporter is, isn't it? So we could either... We could be smart here. We could be very smart. So if this mine shaft goes all the way down to that, right? Oh! You know, is, there is a way for us to be able to connect. I like this. Make sure I know where we are. Right, I tell you what. This is what we're going to do. We are going to go up to the surface. We're going to empty... After I mine this. Thank you. I don't even need it. And then after I mine this coal, because I need some torches again. Uh, we're going to go up to the surface, right? We're going to drop off. Oh, I can't even carry any. I can't carry any of this. Carry the coal. Beautiful. Right? Up to the surface. Empty all that shit. Come back down. And I think we try and make a system where we can use the drop down feature that we've, we've built. All right? To then get down over to where the zombie spawner is really efficiently. Because, like, think about it. If that one goes all the way down and hits the bottom of it, right? Th then over here... Uh, go away, little baby. Little the baby. All right? If that's, if that's where this is here, then surely we can just, like, mine down there and then left to get to where we need to go. Right, let's take the test. Are you going to follow me? Dirty baby. I don't, know if, I don't know if they know how to use it. <laughs> Sucker! Right. Just, just gonna wait a second in case uh, baby zombie's gonna come after me. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? I think we're good. All right. Oh, ho, ho. so we came out of this with sixty-four raw gold, like sixty-four. Oh, actually, 60, 64 gold, 
two music discs, full stack of raw iron, 28 iron ingots, even though I took some of them myself, melon seeds, name tags. I tell you what, let's just celebrate. Let's celebrate. Where is he? Let's give him a name. He's finally got one. Oh, but, but oh no. Yes. We call him Bruno. Bruno. Bruno is his name. Bruno. Oh. There you go. That's how we have to say it. I don't know why he's just randomly got like an accent now, but his name, his name is Bruno. Okay. We're going to take a good night's sleep. Real quick. I tell you what, we should throw everything in to be fair. Oh, look at all this coal that we brought back as well. Oh, beautiful. All right. So you get smell in. I'm just going to go and put my head late to rest. And oh my God, it was a good day. Woo! <laughs> I can't believe it. 14, man. 14 Desmond Tutus. Uh, let's go. I love it. Right. So we got all this. We got all that. We've got CDs, so like CDs nuts. All right, um, we've even got we've even got more stuff that we can go planting. Have I got? Uh, da, 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 da. I'll tell you what, I could just make one if I wanted to. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me some of that back. Uh, I want to make a hoe. I got any wood. Um, boom! Right, I need loads of sticks. Boom! And into there. I'm gonna make an iron hoe. I could have made a, I could have made a diamond hoe. Let's be honest. Coulda, but I w I'm not. I'm not not woulda, but I shoulda. Right. And now let's give ourselves some some beautifulness. So I'm going to plant it here, here, all right? And then we're going to have our... Oh, there's a zombie coming over saying hello. He's like, oh, congratulations. You had an amazing haul. All right, beetroot seeds. Uh, yeah, we'll do beetroots here, okay? Beetroot, beetroot. Right, go away, you. Uh, uh. Right, and then watermelons. Yo, by the way, I, I saw your guys coming. Someone was like, Tom, are you going to recreate the watermelon melon farm from, like, your earlier episodes when you were younger? And the answer is yes. We're going to make it redstone. So when you stand on it, it goes, psh, breaks them, and we're set. And what are you doing? Get away from my farm. Hey, get away from it. It's amazing. I'm just so happy right now. This Minecraft world is becoming everything I want it to be. Like, legit, I'm so, like, I, in, in real life, I am so excited about, like, play, uh, like not playing, but, like, by, like, building and, like, all that sort of stuff. That, like, but it takes forever to build stuff in the real world. Like, it just does, you know, real life, you, you would have figured. It just takes so long to do that sort of stuff that in he in Minecraft, like, if I've got an idea and I want to do something, I can just, like, go, oh, what if we do this or what if we do that? And I can just bring it to reality, and I love it. So we've now got two golden horse hammers. I swear we had a saddle. I don't know. I thought we did. All right? Let's drop all this off. Wait, what's that? Oh, sl oh the slimes that we found. Got to drop that off. We've got a spare name tag for whatever. By the way, the dog's never going to die, so don't even say it's for the for the next dog when he dies. Um. Oh, we've got oh my gosh. We, we're going to have to make... We're going to have to make iron blocks, boys. We're going we're gonna to have to make iron blocks. Like, I want to see... This has been the best episode we've ever had of this series so far, all right? I want to see how many like ratings we can hit. The most we hit on average a video is like, I don't know, five to 10,000 like ratings. I want to see how many you guys can smash, all right? So smash like rating right now. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I'm legit so happy. We've got all these rail carts, which are actually going to be so good for when we do the... Uh, we're going to do a rail cart system that goes from, like, here and then underground. And the way I was, like, looking at doing it is, like, um, the front entrance design. I'm thinking of, like, you know, like a Japanese... J Jap Japanese? What the hell? Japanese, um... Uh, like, like, maglev train. I think it'd be so sick. Like, so, 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 so cool. All right, so we got loads of sticks. We don't even... Wait, don't tell me I was carrying those sticks inside. Time probably was. All right, so we got the sticks. We got the cobwebs. Don't need those. I'm going to put those in my... Uh, loot chest. Got all the gold. Don't even need that. I'm gonna put it in there. Oh, we're gonna have to make golden blocks. Oh my god. Um, there's something whilst I've got this going on, by the way. Like, obviously, like the the production of iron now is like really easy to get with you know fortune and mining and all that sort of stuff. But um, I think in the next episode, I just want to throw this out here as like a I want to do it. I'm pretty sure I'm planning on making some iron farms. So I would like us, you know, I said we're going to step into like the industrial revolution of this Minecraft world. Like once we've got enough of everything, then we can start to have like AFK farms just ticking away and stuff. So I'm thinking we need to create an area, whether it be down here, because obviously, you know, we've got our farm and everything that we're going to do on the other side. So over there, we've got like, you know, the cow cane farm, we're going to have villages, all that sort of stuff. And it could work out that we put the factories near the villages and build them inside the mountains and stuff. Um, but it, all, at the same time, it's whatever whatever we choose to do. We can put it under the mountain. But I'd like to just sprawl out a little bit um, and just have, like, a really nice village area. Because, like we said, we want a train track going all the way around here. So if we could build, like, factories and all make farms inside these buildings or above the waters uh, or along the edge of it, I think it'd be really good. So each episode would say, like, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to achieve. And we rock and roll from it. So um, can we celebrate one thing as well here? My org my, my inventory is organized. This, this is uh, absolutely busted. So... Actually, let's take some of this and make some fresh good good. I think we deserve some fresh good good, actually. 
I think this I think this is fair. We could hold off and make diamond, but like I don't want to. I just don't want to waste uh, diamonds just yet. And I know I could smelt down these for some ingots, but I really don't care. Bing bong bong bong. Look at that. Looking fresh and looking good. We are so pimped out right now. But we're now going back into the depths of down below uh, to try and work out. Uh, just quickly uh, putting a really, really, really simple uh, like stair system into, you know, from like the middle of where we drop down. Because I want to be able to just drop down there and then, you know, follow a really simple path to get to it. That's what I want to do. So let's try and make this a reality. So we need to load up our screenshot. Which, can I just press this and it open it? Oh, I can. Wow, that's actually really convenient. Um, so all I need to do is open up that. And it says, where's our house base, by the way? It'd be interesting if we could build, like, you know, a stair. Imagine if we could do a stairwell. Like, straight down, like, here uh, to it. So it says, uh, um, it's 133. So it's quite over a bit. So 133. So if we go down here. Boom. All right, that drops us here. We have to go. We have to go from here, 133 to minus 44, and then 407. Wow. Did you know what? If, if I am looking at my coordinates right, 133 minus 44, 405. If we mine down by 30 blocks there, this should be the mob spawner. This is actually going to work out so much better. Like we can drop down there, and if we wanted to, we could we could make another drop down here. I'm not even joking. We could make another drop down here to 33 and then just mine straight towards it. So, yeah, you drop down here, you walk out, and then I think we should make another drop down here. Like, yeah, we could run towards it. But I say we make another drop down here to minus 44, and then you're walking straight towards the actual mob spawner. Apparently, I am less than 10 blocks away from this mob spawner. Minus 44. And I should be seeing the mob spawner right about now. Wait, minus 44, oh, 4 or 5? Here? Oh! No way! This is amazing. This is so beyond perfect. Like, we, we can block this off because we don't need to go over there. No way. And then this is our mob spawner. And then we can use this to like build all our facilities of like any enchantment areas or whatever we need. No freaking way. This is sick. And there's our mob spawner. <laughs> As if we've got this. I really can't believe it. Oh my lord. This is perfect. So... We are really that close. I'm just going to mine this away. Look at this. And there we go. We're, we fall straight down into it. <laughs> wow. Do you know what? I, I could set up a, um, you know, a, a zombie elevator mob spawner pretty fast because we've got soul sand and stuff like that. No way. No way. Oh, man, I, I, I am honestly just, I'm so buzzing right now. I'm absolutely so buzzing. It could have been any time that I decided to do a Minecraft Let's Play, and here we are. Let's drop off some of my uh, riches that I've got again. You know, another another 52 iron, uh, raw iron to smelt, but, oh, I feel like going down into my mine shaft, and I'm just going to drop down. You know what? Whilst we're here, I, I did actually make some deep slate bricks, which I love this texture, by the way. So to everybody who says, Tom, your house really doesn't have a lot of different colours into it. Uh, expect to see lots of this. I don't know why. I just absolutely think it is gorgeous. This and the stair, by the way, I think is great. It just is a great symbolise of like, you know, you've got the light up of the house and all that sort of stuff. And then when you go down, it's like deep dark. I love that sort of stuff. So, uh, all right, we're going to go. We're going to go down into the depths. Just going to place a few more blocks real quick. Make it look a little bit, you know, a little bit meaner. You want it to look a bit menacing. You know, you're going into the deep dark. You're going, you're going down there. It's going to be epic. Place these in. Place these in. Let me get rid of that block. Place this one in. And I'm thinking we are good to go. So, yep, look at that. Looking looking much better. And sayonara, mother truckers. We drop down. We really need to put, like, uh, a, st a, a step there. And then you go, all right, I'm just going to go down to my mob spawner. Down you drop into the infinite water supply. And you run down. And hey, presto, here you go. So, yeah, a really simple little loop. And if I wanted to go back up, like, I could actually potentially make, you know, from down here, rather than having to, like, go back up there, we could 
put another elevator to, you know, just whip you back up and then take that elevator. But we could uh, just do an elevator here that whips us back up to the surface or something. Something like that. But um, I also just made, like, a stairwell going out. So it's got lights in it so, like, no mobs can spawn. But uh, if we need to, we can just uh, go up there for, like, quick ease of access or doing anything. But I'm, I'm, a, I'm a happy Tom right now, man. I am a happy Tom right now. We got the mob spawner. We are cooking with gas. The fact that we can enchant now. We got unlimited XP is just amazing. Like th This is unlimited XP at such an early stage in the game. I, I feel like it almost does ruin it because if you're just grinding away, getting free XP, free XP, free XP, it kind of takes you away from that fun of like, oh, going mining for XP and everything. But hey, man, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. I might make this also, by the way, because of this tunnel. I might make this like one wider on this edge like this and then uh, extend that one out just because then it just feels a bit more epic uh, of like an entrance way. So let's do that now. I like how I'm just getting my work done, and I can just hear this army of mobs on the other side of the wall just groaning away. So I thought I would pop in and see what the hell is going on. What are you guys doing? I'm working here, all right? And they're like, no, we're trying to get back to our mob spawner. I don't care. All right, listen. You're going to die. It is what it is. Your, 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 your home is closed. No one's even down here. Oh, my gosh. It's pitch black. Imagine if there was another mob spawner down here. Oh, wow. I ca I ca for the record, I also can't see anything, so let me hit this redstone. Um, I, I can't see anything. But imagine if we found more diamonds. Like, what a nice little uh, bouquet that would be of... Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not pushing my chances, right? I don't need any more. I feel blessed by the Minecraft gods uh, at this moment in time. So I don't think I need anything. I don't even think I need to be exploring anymore. I am so damn content with everything I have got. Uh, you, you, you know, I said um, I don't need any more diamonds. Well, I lied. I found some more. I found some more. I okay. Oh, damn it, I only found two. But you know what? We don't complain. I think I can't remember what the right number is, but like we've got to be getting close to if we wanted to make a full set of diamond armor, we've got to be getting close to that stage. Now, I, the reason why I've not filmed me running around here like a madman is because uh, you guys can't see anything. I don't have any coal. This is like I feel like this is the toughest thing that uh, I find when I'm actually like mining now is when I'm down in caves. Um, because, like, you find the coal at higher levels now, and not so much, um, you, you know, down here, it, it's way more difficult to, to to actually keep making torches as you adventure. I could I could force make some by, like, you know, making charcoal and stuff like that, but I think I just need to learn to come down more prepared in the future. Now, if I backtrack through all this mad lava, all these mad rooms and everything that's going on... Whoa! Whoa! Crazy little guy! Crazy little guy! Get him! <laughs> I nearly got this crazy little guy killed by a creeper. Get wrecked, son. Um, yeah, th this just keeps exploring and keeps uh, getting bigger and bigger. Uh, but I'm just going to back it up. And I'm pretty sure... Is it? Is it up here? And... Aha! I found it. Right, we're back. All right, so let's cover this up real quick. Cover this all the way up. And this is where I was. Hey, look at that. I made it. <laughs> I like that's actually quite a good reveal. And I'm like, -da, I made it. I made exactly what I wanted. So now we've got this as a three by three drop down. So let's make this infinite water supply. Get that back and place that block in. We've now got this as a three by three. So we can drop down it. Obviously, I've got to mine away at this on the way back out. Uh, but we'll do that from the top down and then we'll just sloop on down and we're set. Hmm. I have to make the decision right now as to whether or not I want to make the mob spawner now or do it in the next episode. Part of me is like, we've been on an adventure, we've found it, that's enough, we've done enough. But come on! Like, get, get, come on, should I, should I try? Should I try and make it to be like the push? It's not that much to do, I'm just, I'm just gonna, it means I'm gonna have to watch a YouTube tutorial on how to do it because I'm an idiot. But I'm pretty sure it's just a simple system of like, the water pushes them, it lifts them up, and hey presto, we're rocking and rolling. Um, and like, oh yeah, it, oh, it lifts them up and pushes them and drops them. So even though we've made this room to see them now, I think it has to lift them up, push them over here, and then drop them over here. Uh, I think you could just, yeah, I think you could determine which way you want to do it. So, um, yeah, let's go to the surface. I'm going to take this. Let's go to the surface. Look at this made of stairs. That's convenient. Let's drop off all our stuff and let's gather all the materials that we think we need to be able to make this system. Uh, and we'll go from there. Well, might as well show you guys um just a you know whopping 18 diamonds in the bag 52 iron uh stacking in there number 13 going in and i'm actually gonna start uh smelting all my copper even though i don't like it it gives us good xp you know what we're actually that stacked out i'm starting to think that at this rate we're actually gonna be able to build um like a, a beacon quicker than we actually thought like 
you know, the the rate of you actually producing uh, like ores now is ridiculously fast. That we're absolutely stonked out to the teeth right now, which is obviously really, really, really good. But I, I need to I need to come clean before I get all my resources together. Can I just show you guys something? So I'm I'm like really addicted to doing like small details at the moment, like little detail here, little detail there. Um, and if I was to film every bit of that in the episodes, it would probably just be the most boring episode because like I'll, I'll, I'll like I'll go like this, I'll remove a block, and then I'll go right. What about putting it there? I'll put it there, put it. There. I'll place it back down, then I'll remove it, and place it again. So just to, just to give you guys a bit of a surprise, um, I've just worked on a little bit of something down here, right? Um, that it, it's not much, but I've just changed a lot of the blocks. I also realized that there's like 98 different versions of this stuff because look, you can make cobbled deep slate, right? And then you can do it once to make polished deep slate, but then them for you can then make bricks but then them four you can then make tiles and then that's it but then with six of those you can make fences it's, it's crazy um so i made i made this it, it's not much like it's nothing fancy but i just thought i'd surprise you guys with a little bit of a uh a, oh he built something oh i'm gonna knock that off the wall um it, like again again it's nothing fancy it's not finished in any way shape or form but um yeah i just made it to to just be a bit more aesthetically pleasing for you guys rather than us coming down into this dungeon every five seconds and it looking crap so I'm thinking of like building like a diagonal wall across to that to shoot us back up like a little pathway along like a like a castle wall sort of thing. Um, and then obviously I'm going to develop on working on this, which I still haven't fully mined out yet. <laughs> Prepared. Uh, talk about the king of distractions. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys. Yeah, there you go. It's just, that's just what I do. I, I like placing blocks and picking them back up. Da -da -da -da. Oh, okay, I've got I, I've got to overkill with the tutorial, but just for the, the 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 record, the tutorial that I'm going to be copying is from someone called Voltrox. This is all I'm going to need apparently to be able to make this uh, drop spawner, which should be really good. Um, if I do actually end up using this and it works, I'm going to put the tutorial link down in the description. So make sure you go check it out. It's got like a million views and a lot of good uh, positive reviews in the comments and a like rating, so I can assume it's only good. So I'm going to go ahead and work on making uh, said mob spawner now. And fingers crossed, when I come back after I like uh, mine my way down like this, uh, we will have a finished job. So wish me luck. I, I just like to say I'm halfway through building my uh, zombie spawner and I'm like, yeah, this is all good. It's coming together. Brilliant. Um, what I didn't realize is that I I did measure the room collect correctly, uh, but I didn't measure whether or not uh, the zombie spawner was actually in the center of the room. So this entire room that I've built um, is right. However, it needs to be moved one over, which means this entire tower... This entire tower that I've just built for the zombie dropper um, is broken uh, because this is not going to give me the efficient space of the room. So I have to move it uh, one over this way. Don't even know how I've managed this. Like I legit do not know how I've managed this, but the entire room needs moving over by one. This is why I don't do this in the video uh, because you guys would be screaming at me and uh, I've done goof. So <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay. All right. So zombie spawner is now in the middle of the room and this is hopefully connected up. So if I, oh, actually, you know what? I should probably, <laughs> I was going to say, I should probably grab a, bo a bucket of water just to test this before I end up going breaking me. Oh, wait, before I go breaking my legs. I knew I did an infinite water source somewhere. I just didn't know where the bloody hell it was. All right. Let me go and grab a bucket of water now. And let me test that this is working. I'm going to put that there. All right, so zombies drop down when I release the Kraken. Uh, they come into here like, Bleh. oh, they go way all the way to the top. It pushes them over here and the way, boom, they fall uh, to either their death or for me hitting them. All right, um, yeah, 
All I'm going to need to do now is set everything else up and see if it actually works. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not I'm not fully convinced this is going to work, but uh, I'm going to give it a hey presto with a try. I think for it to be dead efficient, you have to go, like, go and put torches in all the areas so no other mobs spawn or, or to increase your rates or something like that. But for now, right, I've moved everything. Give me, it, give me these blocks. That seems to be working. Wait, I, no, wait, did I hear a zombie fall already? Surely not. Surely it's not working that efficiently already. I'm hoping the room size and everything is perfect now. So let's block off all the light. There we go. We're going up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get rid of that. Yeah, yeah, this is good. This is good. Right, the zombies are plopping in. I'm just going to fill this little gap. Turns out I didn't need this extra uh, extra space of room. I right, place a torch down over here. Hey, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the zombies are falling here, which is good. I wonder how high I need to raise it. Let's see for them to land but not die because I can always raise this. But like if we want to just kill them to get the stuff, we can lower it and then put like the hoppers down into the chest and collect the stuff. So it'd be nice to introduce a AFK method where I can press a redstone block where it raises the floor by one or something. So they hit, land on it and collect. But I don't know if that's, poss that's possible. But the zombies come in right now. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I'm like, wait, how are they getting out? <laughs> I'm like, well, it would help if I had like a, a slab there. Wait, let me get a slab. Where is my crafting tables? I'm going to go ahead and put one of these here like that. I'm going to make a slab. Thank you. All right, now, I'm thinking this should stop them, all right? So now if I slab up, well, maybe I don't need to slab up to these. All right, yeah, you can't get out, but now the little zombies can. But I can obviously implement uh, more slabs to stop them coming out, but... Ladies and gentlemen, we have got a mob grinder. So the zombies are landing here fine, which is good. I can just smack away at them, get my XP. I'm going to close it for now, so they, they still take damage. And what I'm going to do is implement the hoppers. So we need them to land onto the slab. We, yeah, we can get them to land on a slab. But then this will allow it to go through the slab. So let's do Where are we going to put our chests? We put our chests like here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, make, we'll make this like a nice stairway entrance in with the rest of the blocks that we've got. And it's like you, you, you're stepping down into the into the pit. So give me this. Then give me them. Then give me them. Then give me this. Then give me this. Then give me that. There we go. All right. And then we do stairs. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. It works. So we can go in. All right. So now we need to hopper. I could just one hopper into it. I'm trying to be efficient here and make it a bit better. So we could, or we could triple the hopper, couldn't we? I guess I could because they, I, they can one hit them there. So just for now, just for now, the temporary. Let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do hopper into this one. No, I can't do it. Hopper into that. Yep. And then where I kill them, hoppers into that. And then we put our pillars back down. I'm hoping that doesn't block the hopper. I don't think it does. Well, let me test. Put that in there. Goes into there. Goes into the chest. Okay. So we can keep that there. Now, if I simply try this. And then, oh. Wait, baby zombie can't get out there? Ah, oh, you idiot. Hey. And then we smack away. This is where a sword would come in handy rather than this. Have I got any? Yeah, we can make uh, an iron sword real quick. So let's put that there. Iron sword, even though I don't believe in swords. Ready? Yeet! 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 I'm taking multiple hits, so I could actually lower it to make them take more damage, you know what I mean? To be less, uh, less full health. But, hey presto, Bob's your uncle, Paddy's your aunt. I got a zombie spawner, ladies and gentlemen. And the babies don't run, attack run out attacking me. This is wicked. So I might put like... I like a viewing platform area in here so you can actually see what's going on so no light gets to it. But look at this. Look what I have I have actually made this. So big shout out to that tutorial that I watched because uh, it actually did the job absolutely uh, fine. Hey, presto. Uh, but yeah, we've now got a zombie spawner to get XP. So I say we wait here a little bit, get to level 30. And I reckon we should get uh, an enchantment going and we'll be rocking. Now, am I picking up all these drops? Are they actually going in here? 21. Yep. 23, 24. I'm liking it. It is working. Oh, right. I am back after like, oh my gosh, you can hear them. Only after like four minutes, five minutes of AFK and I just ran downstairs real quick. Um, we got a bunch of zombies. Um, I don't know if any of them like, have may have been like force fed themselves dead. Wait, what? How did you get out? What the heck? I don't know whether he just got like entity pushed through the wall there. So Houston, we have a small problem. Well, let's kill them all. How much XP can we get out of this? Oh yeah. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, nice. I tell you what, I was literally only gone for like four minutes or something then. We got a good amount of uh, XP from that. That was brilliant. I'm wondering if there's like 
some sort of like uh, like a, maybe like another slab or a trap door or something because I could I do think I could put another one here like that and I could still hit them and then they definitely can't squeeze through but we are never level 30 so in this episode if we recap we have managed to find a crap load of diamonds loads of resources and stuff like that which is amazing we've now got melons because we've got the melons going up top we've got beetroots as well which is amazing that works towards all our like you know advancements because we've got to consume one of every like food in minecraft that's really good plus it's good for making potions all that sort of stuff um we've managed to find loads of areas to explore we've worked on this space up top that we've now like decorated i've just realized you know we actually don't have a way of getting back up here but if I do 200 IQ real quick, if this is a drop-down section, we could actually, uh, like, just to the side of it, if we open this up, we could create ourselves, um, like, a super-fast portal to teleport ourselves back up to our little area. Because if I'm right in saying, I've got the supplies for it. I had, okay, I have, or I had somewhere, an extra soul sand. Have I somehow, have I somehow, like, left it in there? I may not have dug it up. But I was going to say, I did actually have a spare soul sand uh, to allow us to, like, just shoot back up to the top. I'm a bit gutted that I've somehow... I've somehow lost that. So I brought two of everything with me. Uh, and I, I know I haven't used two in this build. But we could make um, an extra water, like, teleporter going up, which will take us back up to our, sec our, like, our second stage level there. So, yeah, if we build this into, like, here, for example, yeah, just nice, nice and clean, we'll be able to uh, scatamoosh all the way up. So all we've got to do is, uh, like, dig straight up, put in the soul sand and then the kelp, and then we're rocking. But yeah, we've got a zombie spawner. This is great. We've got, like, a way of getting unlimited amounts of XP and, like, you know, materials from the zombies that we possibly need. Collecting rotten flesh, flesh we can, can be used for, like, zombie traders and stuff like that. And that is my little AFK room in there. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is a job well done. Let's uh, quickly pop back up to the surface, get another soul sand, unless I can just find it. One sec. Is it... I, I really don't want to go all the way back up. Let me just put some torches on here. Have I just left it in the ground? Like, is it still here? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. You, know, you ain't going to mess anything up here, right? Right. Let me, let me mine into here. Oh, I can hear some zombies on the outside. I need to be efficient and, and get rid of that. Is there a... Spe is there a where's the... Is there a spare soul sand under here? No, there's not. Weird. Okay, that makes no sense. Yeah, see, look, our zombie rates are depleting. Because there's zombies on this side of the wall, so when they're spawning, it's like lowering the rates that we can actually get. So we don't we're gonna have to fix that. We're gonna have to fix that. Wait, we have to fix that. All right, no, don't no, don't wreck up wreck this. There we go. Alright, now we're out. Beautiful. Remove this. I need to remove the torch. Is that all of it? I think it is. Hey presto. It's like we were never here, mate. Like we were never here. You know what? Just just out, just out of principle, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to make it a really simple way for me to get out for now. I will do, like, the super fast speedy way back up. But just for now, <laughs> just so I can get back up here and use the actual uh, speedy elevator, I'm going to put them there. So let's go empty our inventory, get a, get a level 30 enchantment going on, and then make that uh, that other teleporter, our transportation system, and we are going to be set. I, I can't believe at this stage in the series how developed we actually are. Like, we are... We're doing really well, like really, really well. All right, so now that it comes to the priority of being able to enchant even better now, I do think we should make armor a priority because I really don't want to die. But at the same time, I'm a bit like, do I want to, do I not? Like this pickaxe is good. It's not fortune three. And I feel like we should try and get fortune three. Like that, that would be a good shout. We could do with like a better axe or, a, or maybe even a sword, even though I don't like them. But at the same time, I think I'm just going to be a little bit smart and I'm going to make some diamond boots. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is... Oh, sweet! Got an advancement. Cover me with diamonds. There we go. I like I like being able to read it. Cover me with diamonds. Uh, diamond armor saves lives. Well, that's what we're hoping for. Because the biggest thing I can see killing me at the moment, like, legit, is going to be if I take a fall. Like, I can seem to fend off a lot of the mobs in this world. But if I fall, I feel like we're going to have the worst time ever. Now, that is... That is terribly awful. Like, that, that, that's probably the, one of the worst things I could ever get. What's on a sword? Smite. That's awful. Shovel. Unbreaking three. Hoe. Unbreaking three. Oh, that, that, that hoe. Hella loyal. And a bow. Unbreaking three. Um, so I think this is where we get, do the whole, I'm going to enchant a book instead. Uh, so I don't waste the whole level 30. So let me just, uh, let, me, <laughs> let me just pop down to me, my XP grinder real quick. You ready? We're just going to drop on down here. And then I'm going to take a lot. Do you know what we could actually do? You know what I'm just saying? Like, yeah, this does drop us off here, right? 
But we could just like make this go lower and then we could get straight out to here. But I think it's good to have like a little, you know, a mid a midway platform. Now, where do we want? If that's going to be here, let's say if I move this, if we're going to make this like a super whoop, uh, fast up, fast down area. Should we build it just say like here? Is this, is this good enough? I can't see why I, I can't see why anything will go wrong with me just mining straight down. But I'm going to go for it. So let's go straight down here. See where this brings us out. Hopefully not into some random void that I do not know about. And I'm pretty sure. sure oh, I hope I'll take some iron whilst we're here. Why not? Yeah, sure. I will take this and fill it all in whilst we're here because it needs to be solid. Straight down. Is this going to drop? Yeah. Okay. So we were a little bit off of where we thought this was going to bring us out, but that's fine. So if we fill that in there, and then this is where we're going to uh, super fast out. We need to put that there. And then do I need? I need signs, right? I think so. I've got I've got all the materials I need down here. So signs, I need that. And I need my water and my soul sand. So let's put the soul sand down whilst the zombies are spawn. Hopefully it gives time to the zombies to spawn. I'm going to put my soul sand down. Yep. I think it might need to be one though, actually. Oh, not. And uh, that goes there. And then we need to pour water down and then we need signs. So give me my signs. So one, two... Right. Not the prettiest, but I'm pretty sure that'll stop the water from coming out. Uh, and if we uh, use my old school method, a ladder. Kind of depressing ladders. You know what? If you could get like, you know, boots with speed essence on them to make you run faster, going up a ladder like that way would actually be kind of nice. So we throw that in here, right? I'm then going to drop down because I'm just going to do it backwards, right? Ah, beat you, noob. All right. And then if we fill this in all the way to the top... Yep. All the way to the top. All the way to the tippy top. All the way to the tippy top. Like so. Right? And then I drop down again. <laughs> it's like a theme park ride. And then we knock this out. That should be ready to go. So I could technically now say remove the ladders. You know, so you can just jump down. At least you don't see them. But now we can drop down and to get back up. <laughs> I love it. This is sick. This is actually sick as chips. Wait, this is brilliant. So we could. Uh, I'm gonna do, screw it. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a full lap. You ready? So full lap, all the way up. It's actually quite, quite long. This one. It's kind of ridiculous. All right, and then and then. Oh no, needs to go downstairs. Soon a bit. Super fast fall. Boom. We can, We should really open up this doorway here. You know. So like. I know you go out that way, but realistically, I feel like you should be facing this way, right? So if this is the way you come down, like, surely this is the way you want to be facing to get out. You know what I'm saying? So then, like, yeah, we could do this. And then give me some water. Give me that. And then, yeah, I can push it, push it towards it. Oh. Yeah, this makes more sense, right? Because then, yeah, you're to here and then you're out. I like, I, I actually like that. This, this does really make a lot more sense. So let me place that there. Place the torch. So now, where we can either go out that way or we can go this way. It's up to us. So we can remove this entrance way. Or... You know what? Just open it up. And then, to get down here... Hey! Put torch there. We're down, and we're at our mob spawn. Absolutely brilliant. Now, I'd only like a small amount of XP. I only need, like, a few zombies. So, in you come, drop down, uh, and I can get to level 31. And we can get uh, a, like, 30 enchantment done. That's hopefully going to be good. Okay. That took... That took no time at all. Sweet. Here we go. And away we ponder. Boom. Straight up there. It would be nice if we could shoot straight up there, but like when, when we get this like cleaned up. And you know what we can actually do? You know how we've got this on this level and then we have to lower down to it? If we actually like, you know, hang on, let me clean some of this. And then again, because I need the bricks. And then once I've got the bricks, I need the deep slate tiles. What we could actually do is if we actually keep it at this height, right? Okay, why am I doing this? Take it forever. All right, if we do it like this, we could actually make it so where we actually jump into the going back up platform, uh, all we have to do is, oh, no. all we have to do is, you know, match it to this. And then we can just step it in on it here. And then it's efficiently all on the same level. Like that works no problem whatsoever. So yeah, I think we should do that at some stage. So that's quite good. But uh, yeah, back up we go. Let's get our enchantment going. And I'm hoping for, if we can get feather falling boots on, we are good. We are absolutely cooking to be the gas, my friend. Absolute gas, my friend. All right, down this way, in we enter. Hello there, I'd like a book, enchanted. Power three. No. Feather falling one. It's not what I need, but unbreaking three. Ooh, that's good. Sword. Unbreaking three. Okay. Uh, What else can we see? Bow. 
Power three. Oh, that's not a good sign, actually. Right, let's do the boat. Let's do the let's, let's do the boots. Guys, be there for me. Pray for me. We are on the road to God tier armor. I think by next by next episode we'll have full like best in slot weapons, best in slot tools, and armor. I really do think we're gonna be there. But you ready? Please be good. Five, four, three, two, one, boom. Right, I'm gonna highlight highlight over it and not look at it. Is it any good? Is it any good? What is that? Blast, pr blast protection four. Who in the right mind wants blast protection four? To be fair, the next one was Depth Strider three. Ridiculous. Infinity on the next thing. What about the spade? Fortune three. Oh my gosh, the next enchantment's absolutely poggers. Um, yo, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. At least we got some diamond on our on our body. Have I have I even got enough to make full a full diamond army yet? Let's have a look. The, the legs. And the chat. No, I, I don't have enough. We need, we need to go. We need to go spelunking even further into the depths. You know what? We have made some mad progress. Very happy right now. Oh, I, ju I just realized, you know, at the start of this episode, we had the Enderman just bobbing around in the house doing whatever he wants. Well, it turns out I think he's left this here. So, uh, Enderman, I appreciate you doing that. I feel like he's left that there as a death threat. You know, in like Godfather, where they leave like the, the horse under the bed or the pillow or something like that. Like, it's a sign we're coming for you. Well, I feel like he's kind of left it as a message, but. Speaking of leaving messages, if I uh, go to this chest real quick and I look for what I need and I don't have, it yeah, awkward, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a sign and I'm going to run downstairs um, and address something. You know how I said this was episode six, joy over it. Well, I think that's actually wrong. I think today is episode six because these are always an episode behind. So I'm going to put down episode six, which it should be, and shout out Owen Beal. Dale. Oh, I'm shouting out Owen. The reason why is Owen left a comment down below saying, big up Tom for always being there when we need him most. Grew up watching this guy. All the best to everyone in 2022. Owen, I appreciate that. Appreciate your kind words. Like I say, I always want to put someone's name and uh, on the wall. I'd like to actually be able to put like your entire message on there, but um, I know that just simply will not fit. So, Owen, thank you very much for your kind words, mate. I really appreciate it. Thanks for being subscribed. Leave a like, creating, and leaving a comment down below. If you guys want to get on the wall, leave a comment down below, and you never know, you might get up on there. Uh, speaking of these names, I think it's about time we actually transfer them names down here and get this organized. Like so. Look at that. I've got all the names down here looking cool. And by the way, in case Anastasia's like, where's my name? Anastasia, you got a shout out because you went to uh, syndicateoriginal.com, my clothing line, and you got yourself this, 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 and this. Um, if we've got enough of this, um, she got everything from a new clothing line. And if you guys are watching the videos and you see me wearing my merch and you want to go get some, links down in the description, syndicateregional.com. Get over there, grab yourself some, and uh, hopefully you uh, like what we're doing over at the company over there. Family run business and all that. And we like to make clothing that you can just wear everywhere and anywhere rather than it being like YouTuber merch. But I'm going to uh, rest my head now and ladies and gentlemen, part ways with you. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. We've achieved so much. I can't already wait to start recording the next episode because I've got so much planned and it's going to be absolutely amazing. Once we've got the core base down of like, you know, enchanting, XP, food, villagers, all that sort of stuff, our creativity can start to flow like absolute mad. And that is something that I so badly want to do with that. So yeah, the grind has been real. Thanks for watching. You're all amazing. And until next time, much love. Peace out.